Right then guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Golf Magic YouTube channel. I feel like it's uh, it's been a while since I've talked to you here at Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate, but today I've got a very interesting video for you. If you didn't see last week's video review of the 6C Series putter in Armlock, it's a good one, and I've actually changed the Armlock putter. But what is the difference between traditional putting and Armlock putting? Well, we're gonna find that out today because I've got the Sick Pro C Series putter in Armlock, and I'm gonna put it up against the Cobra Super Sport 35. The main difference in these is one's 34 inches and one's 42 inches, so a massive difference here. The design of them is quite similar, and they've both got Sick Face technology in the putter face itself. But what I'm gonna focus on today is actually how different it is between traditional putting and Armlock putting, because I do actually think from trying Armlock putting out a lot that in the amateur game, it hasn't really been utilized that much, which I'll get onto in a little bit. We're not gonna to talk too much about design, but you can see they are both very similar. They've got that stunning blade design on both clubs and the Cobra is a little bit more in that sleek black finish. But what's the difference when you actually put it down to the performance part? I'm at Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate right now on the Kingfisher course, and I'm gonna head over to the third hole. I'm gonna do some putts with both putters, from long to short, and just get some pressure putts in me and see how I get on. Let's do it. <laughs> Right guys, so that is it for the testing of the Sick Pro C-Series putter and arm lock against the Cobra Super Sport 35. This was an interesting one. I've reviewed and compared a lot of golf clubs, but this testing was the most substantial difference between the two. And that's not that surprising because there is an eight inches difference between the putter length, but still night and day for me. And I know I've only been putting arm lock in tournament and amateur rounds for a good two or three weeks. But when I went back to the conventional putting, it felt, it felt almost wrong. And there's a few reasons behind that. As I said in our Sick Pro C Series Armlock Putter review, the Armlock Putter lines up your left forearm and that makes you feel quite rigid. And that might sound like a negative word, but that actually means that you're not really moving that much apart from your chest and shoulders. It really takes out any sort of bad movements that you could have with a conventional putter. What do I mean by that? Well, with a conventional putter, you don't have something anchored, shouldn't say that word, but anchored to your body. So it means that you have a lot of other things in play, most notably your wrists, which you can hinge and it lead to you not actually delivering the putter square at impact. With arm lock, it does feel like it is a little bit easier, which is why I'm actually quite surprised it hasn't really pushed onto the amateur game yet, because I've never seen an amateur golfer use an arm lock putter apart from myself. We've seen some PGA Tour players use them, but why haven't we seen every single PGA Tour player use them if they are supposedly easier to use? I think I've understood why, and I think some other people have caught onto it as well. If you're a good putter, if you're Jordan Spieth, if you're Tiger Woods, you're not gonna go on to arm lock putting because you know how to putt. You know you're gonna deliver the putter neutral every single time. If you're a bad putter, if you're not comfortable putting, arm lock putting is for you because it is gonna make you a better putter. Some PGA Tour players have switched to arm lock putting and it hasn't actually worked for them. Xander Schauffele, most notably, switched and went to Torrey Pines at the US Open and did not putt well at all. Lost strokes in the field with putting. If we looked at the stats for arm lock putting with amateurs, I'd be 100% sure that it would improve a lot of people's games, including mine. There's certain parts of the game for putting that arm lock does improve. And for me, it's those short putts. Yes, it's mental as well, but for me, I don't think I'm gonna miss any short putts within four foot anymore because I'm not worried about delivering the club face to pull it or push it. I'm certain that I'm gonna get it pretty much spot on my line. And this is why I think it's almost a, a golf magic secret that people haven't really discovered yet because Arm lock putting, for me, I'm positive that I could give an arm lock putter to anyone. And although maybe for the first two rounds or so they'd feel like it wouldn't work very well, once you get used to it, it's gonna make you a more consistent putter. And that's exactly what you want. With that, the consistency comes with your mental positive attitude and you're gonna enjoy putting. And that's what I do as well now. I actually want to go onto the putting green. I want to practice my putting and I want to get better. When it was with a conventional putter, I know I'm not the perfect example because I am quite tall, but with a conventional putter, I didn't ever feel that comfortable and there was a lot more things in play. So this is why a golf magic recommendation, if we're putting aside the Cobra versus Sick, but from traditional to arm lock putting, you guys should really try out those arm lock putters for whatever brand, because I'm certain a lot 
lot of you, if you did try it, you become better putters. You may get looked at a little bit funny on the putting green and if you play some tournament rounds, but if you're getting under 30 putts around, that'll silence them quite quickly. Let me know what you think down in the comments about arm lock putting, because I know there is some sort of social stigma against it because there is some controversy into whether it should actually be allowed. I don't think it's going to get banned anytime soon just because it's technically not anchoring, but we'll have to wait and see. If you guys did enjoy this video today, make sure you leave a like down below. And if you guys are new to the Golf Manager YouTube channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button too to keep up to date with all our videos, because you name it, we've got it to keep you guys entertained for all of 2021. I'll see you guys at the next video.